Good day, everybody. It's good to be back with you. So a few weeks ago, uh, my friend Kevin and I got together and we were typing on this Voss Model 50 and my um, Royal Quiet Deluxe. And I think Kevin also had his Royal Quiet Deluxe out at the same time. And we were noting how much we loved typing with the Voss. And I, I have this older 1952 vintage Voss. He has a late 1950s uh, Voss, the newer, rounded, curvy body style. Both of these typewriters are wonderful. The Royal Quiet Deluxe is a great typewriter. I love it. But for some reason, the keyboard on the uh, Vosses feel better. And it has little to do with the touch of the keys or the action of them. It's more to do with the ergonomics of the keyboard. Have you ever noticed that some typewriter keyboards just feel more cramped than others? And the two, the machine might be the same size, like it's a medium-sized portable. It might be about the same size as another medium-sized portable, but it just feels more cramped, or the other typewriter just feels easier to reach the keys. Well, that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Typewriter keyboard ergonomics. Well, before we get any further into this, I should mention, if you're wondering what this light-colored ribbon cover is on the Voss. This is a project that is a work in progress. It's not completed yet, but I did want to include this in here. This is my homemade wooden ribbon cover that I'm working on. It's in the stage of being sanded. It's nowhere near finished. Uh, it's going to be black, hopefully, to match the Bakelite finish of the rest of the typewriter. Anyways, that's what that is. Often when people talk about how does the typewriter feel, how does it type, they often are referring to the touch, the mechanical touch of the keys and the linkages and the kind of mechanical feedback forces that you feel in your fingers and hands. But there's also the ergonomics of the keyboard. How wide apart are the keys spaced? How are the tiers of keys, how do the tiering rise up from the front to the back of the typewriter? How big are the key caps? W what is the spacing between them? How much clearance do you have between the left side of the keyboard and the uh, shift and shift lock keys, for instance? All of that has to do with the ergonomics of the keyboard, even how close is the ribbon cover to the back row of keys. So. A lot of times the design of the typewriter, there's more involved in how well it feels for your hands than just the touch or the action, the mechanical action of the keyboard itself. And that certainly is the case on these two typewriters. There is a remarkable difference in the typing experience, at least for me and my friend Kevin also, even though just superficially as I touch each of these uh, and work the keys individually, they seem to feel very similar in the sense of the action of the type linkage. We uh, were curious about why, with both Vosses that we have, why did it feel like the Vosses were easier to type on, even to touch type on? And so we went down the rabbit hole. Uh, one of the first things we did is we started saying, well, okay, let's measure the size of the keyboard. So as a way of measuring the spacing or the width of the keyboard, we decided we would measure from the left side of the uh, left key on the first row to the left side of the right hand key on the first row, which is 10 keys. And so I'm going to right now use uh, inches and it's six and three quarter inches. Whereas on the Royal Quiet Deluxe, if we measure it the same way, from the left side of the left key to the left side of the right key is also six and three quarter inches. So I guess we could assume right now that the spacing, the horizontal spacing of the keys between both keyboards is the same. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to measure basically the spacing from the front of the keyboard to the back of the keyboard and how much of a rise the rows have. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by measuring from the front edge of the left front key on the bottom row to the front edge of the left rear key here and get an idea of how big it is here, how long. So this is going to be like the hypotenuse of a triangle. So, so it looks like it's two and three quarter inches, which is about 70 millimeters. 70 millimeters on the Voss. And on the Royal Quiet Deluxe, measuring the same two keys, on its keyboard from the front edge of each is 68 millimeters. 68 millimeters from front to back. 
So next I'd like to measure the rise from the front row of keys to the back row of keys and I'm going to again use the left corner here. So I'll start with the left front key and that's going to measure 49 millimeters. If I don't push the key down, 49 millimeters and then the back key the one key is going to be about 82 millimeters. So the difference between the front and the back here on this corner is 33 millimeter rise. A 33 millimeter rise from the front to the back here. With the Royal Quiet Deluxe, <coughs> the front left key is 47 millimeters. The left rear key is 74 millimeters for a difference of 27 millimeters from front to back. And so it looks to me like the Royal Quiet Deluxe, the keyboard slopes up less than the uh, Voss typewriter. Voss has a steeper angle of slope. Okay, let's get an idea of the angles involved. So for the Voss, we're going to go uh, 33, enter, divide by 70, 70, divide. And we're going to take the arc sign. So that angle is 28.13 degrees. Whereas the Royal Quiet Deluxe is going to be 27, enter, 68, divide by, and arc sign is going to be 23.39 degrees. So Royal Quiet Deluxe having the shallower angle of slope on the keyboard. Well, I still think we need to collect some more data. Next thing we should do is probably measure the width of the keycaps. So since the keycaps are all pretty much the same on each keyboard, I'm going to measure just one keycap on each keyboard and make it representative of the whole. So looking at the width here, it looks like the Royal Quiet Deluxe keys are about 14 and a half millimeters wide. Whereas with the Voss typewriter, the keycaps appear to be well, they're sloped a little bit, so I'm going to measure the top face, the top edge, because they get a little bit wider toward the bottom. But it looks like about 13 and a half. So there's one other thing I wanted to look at here in the measurement category is I noticed on various typewriters the caps lock key is often very close to the A key and a lot of people have problems with the A key uh, when they're touch typing. I've put a sheet of white paper underneath the keyboard here just so you can see it a little bit better here. This is about 11 millimeter spacing on the very faces of the keys between the edges. Whereas on the Royal Quiet Deluxe you can probably tell it's a lot closer and just measuring again the same way we did before uh, from the top edge of each key is, oh boy, it is like four millimeters, four and a half millimeters. That's pretty tight. So what's our conclusion here? Well, the width of the keyboard between the two machines is about the same. We know the Voss keyboard slopes up a few degrees higher, uh, 28 degrees versus 23, so about five degrees steeper of a slope, a slightly steeper slope. Does that contribute to a nicer feel? Well, maybe it helps me to be able to distinguish the rows I'm at a little bit better. I'm not really sure if that's a factor. The Voss keycaps, though, are certainly narrower by a millimeter than the Royals, and I think this is probably part of it. I think with the Royal, because they're wider, it's probably easier to mishit the wrong key partly. Keeping in mind the overall spacing of the two keyboards horizontally is the same, but because the uh, QDL has w fatter keys, it means the gap between the keys is a little narrower. So the keys are effectively closer together. The Voss seems to feel like it's slightly wider. I have less encroaching, but I think Looking at all these measurements, the single biggest factor, I think, ends up being this right here. This gap between the A and the shift lock. On the Voss, it's almost an entire key's width. Uh, and so when I'm touch typing, I just don't get that sense of partially hitting the caps lock like I often do. Contrast this with the Royal Quiet Deluxe keyboard. So you obviously notice now the gap between the A and the shift lock is a lot closer. But even s despite that, the key faces are fatter and so you have a narrower gap between all the keys. It's just easier 
to like, for instance, in the case of the A, to partially hit an S, or the D to partially hit the S or whatever, you need to be a lot more precise on your keystrokes with this kind of a keyboard. Uh, one millimeter difference in width may not sound much, but this spacing right here, this is really key, I think. So between 11 millimeter gap on the Voss versus a four and a half millimeter, you know, that's a huge difference here. This is really close together. And as I look at the key spacing on the rest of the keyboard, the, the rest of the keyboard, the key spacing is actually wider than this gap here. So for my little left pinky, it's easy for me to partly hit that shift lock key, which causes me to have some weird typing issues like partially shifted letters at times. If I'm really rapidly typing, I'll partly hit that. And it just makes touch typing, rapid touch typing, a little bit more of a problem on this keyboard for me. Well, I continue to be amazed at how much of a difference in the typing experience a few millimeters of spacing between the keys or the width of the keycaps themselves makes. And so, you know, you measure your pinky, like my pinky up near the tip here where the fingernail is, is roughly 15 millimeters wide. And so you start to think, well, you know, seven millimeter difference in the gap between uh, the, the A and the shift lock. That's half of a finger's width right there for your pinky, right? So these small little dimensions start to add up and they do conspire together to make a difference in the typing experience uh, in between the two machines. Not taking anything away from the Royal Quiet Deluxe, this is Adobe Rose, she's a great machine, I love her, but there is a difference and between both Vosses and both QDLs, this one and the one my friend Kevin has, yeah, we've noticed this, the difference in typing. Aside from the difference in the feel or the action of the linkages themselves. So keyboard layout, very subtle but very important. And uh, I don't know if you guys are interested in maybe making some measurements of your typewriter collection to see why is it that one machine I always enjoy typing on better than the other? Maybe it has to do with the layout, the slope, the spacing of the keys. Check that out. And that's another thing to consider when you're shopping for a typewriter. Do you have big beefy hands, smaller, more delicate hands? Uh, that might affect your decision as well. I hope you guys have stayed creative and stayed mentally and physically well during these challenging times and I wish you all the best. Leave comments down below. I'd love to have a dialogue with you. Let's talk about keyboard size, layout, ergonomics if that's important to you. Until next time, stay creative, stay well, have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.